Money. Spending it is fun. You know what I like to spend money on? Stupid shit. It's not like anyone else is gonna buy it for you, so... I've bought lots of stupid shit since I got my own job. I've bought cameras that I then destroyed. I've bought parts for a phone that would cost more to fix than to replace. I bought a broken laptop and fixed that up. That $100 expense turned into $300 real fast. I bought a chair for $30. Sturdy. But one of my more recent dumb purchases was this. Why did I buy this? Yeah, so I bought a thin client. I found this thing on eBay for $10, but I offered the seller $8 and he accepted. Spec sheet. This is the Dell Wise ZXO Z90D7. What a generic name for a generic product. My unit comes with 4 gigs of RAM and a dual core AMD GT56N, which gives us about 0.2 gigahertz per dollar. Was it really worth spending the money though? Let's test that. Test number one, can it install Windows 10? Yes, I installed it before even considering making this video, so sadly no footage, but here's a photo. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention how much storage this device has. Well, it has 16 gigs. 16! I'm surprised this thing could even install Windows, but it did. With storage to spare until I installed updates. Test number two, can it install Windows 11? Now this may seem impossible because of Microsoft and their annoying system requirements, but I managed to get my hands on a modified installer that removes the requirements while still allowing for system updates. Once again, did this before working on this video so I don't have any installation footage. I do know however that it runs like garbage and I can barely do anything unless I leave it sit for an hour thinking. Not looking good for the performance and worth of this thing. Oh yeah, and the storage issue is still there, so I still can't install anything. Until I got a hard drive! Alright. Just gotta plug the SATA cables in and... Wait. Why is there no SATA power plug? <sighs> USB hard drive adapter! Yay! Test number three. Office work. It can kind of browse the web and kind of run Google applications. That's all you need to know. Test number four, can you run games? This probably isn't gonna turn out well, but I thought I'd still try it for the lulls. For this test, I wanna try out four different games. Fortnite, Tetris, Terraria, and Roblox. Trust me, the Fortnite one's for a joke, I swear I'm not being serious, yeah, this is not a lie at all. But first, I want to try Tetris, and I'm gonna do that through a browser using the Tetris website. Just get all these damn ads out of the way. Oh, never mind, they do this, I forgot. Yay, Tetris. Oh my god, that frame rate. Oh wait, I forgot this thing had music. Oh, this is so laggy. Oh my god. Yeah, this thing has an internal speaker. It's extremely tinny. I can't play this, this is so bad. Oh my. Let's try a different Tetris, I don't like this Tetris. Oh wow, this is running so much smoother. I want to try Roblox next, but I gotta make sure it installs to this external hard drive. There we go. Hey look, the site actually loads. I wonder if Speedrun 4 would be a good test game. I know you guys can't see, but the hard drive is flashing, so that means it's installing in the correct place. Oh, no, not two instances, stop. No, stop. No, not three instances, why? Just the one. What the fu- Why are you installing to that drive? <sighs> yeah, this is where this video ends because I have no way of fixing this issue. All of the things that I tried or could have tried would not have worked at all. This computer is absolutely capable of more, but the storage literally bottlenecks the computer. So, what lesson have we learned today? Don't buy an $8 computer. And with that, thanks for watching. Sorry, bye.